Hello everybody, my name is James Gust and welcome to Interactive Horror Story. This game I found on Itch.io and I will happily put the download link in the description below. I picked it because um, I found it to be a little interesting. There's, let's see, how many stories again? One, two, three, seven. Seven stories here uh, that are interactive stories where you have to just go through along with it uh, that are different horror films. There we go. Her different horror stories. So I just really wanted to go after that and see what would happen if I just tried and go and went through some of these, maybe all of them, depending on how long they are. I'm not really sure. So let's see. Evil Beneath the Ground. I'm guessing that's a zombie. Uh, Crystal Skull. That has to be something like the monkey's paw because they did have a brief description on Ichio about some of them. Uh, the doll. I'm getting a very I'm getting a very goosebump vibe. What's his name? Slappy? Slappy? I believe that's his name. Slappy the dummy. This is going to be a text adventure, so or maybe it is. I'm not sure. So prepare for my, <clears throat> my manly voice acting. You are a single father. Your wife, Linda, passed away while giving birth to your son a year ago. You will be able to use a Ouija board. Ah, I was right, it is Ouija. And contact with an entity who claims to be Linda in this story. It's just kind of weird because every time I see Ouija, I know how to spell it. But every time I see it, I want to say Ouija or Ouija. I'm not sure why. It's just it's just a pronunciation. It doesn't look like it would ever say Ouija. New Jersey of 1981. You are a single father. Your wife. Okay, we. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. Okay, fine then. Your son's name is Mark. He's a cute baby with blue eyes that he got from his mother. As expected, you are in agony with the loss of your wife. Mark is the only thing that you hold on to. He's all that matters. You've been in love with Linda since the first time you saw her. She was so pretty. You wanted to be with her forever. It still surprises you to have such a charming woman to fall in love with you too. During Linda's pregnancy, you lost your job at some point while having debts. She supported you in every way she could. Not only was she your wife, but also your best friend. You found another job after Mark was born and Linda died, but of course it doesn't make you a happy man when you have lost your best friend and wife. Looking in Mark's blue eyes gives you all the strength to go on as to go on as a single father. You see the future in his eyes, and the past, the present, the past when you were happy with your family, despite of everything falling apart. I was getting ready to go future, past, present thing. You would lose everything if you lost Mark. Another reason that what made Linda and Mark so significant is you had lost your parents too. Wow, I live a really shitty life. Basically, you have no family members left except for your son. Nobody to consult for things that you need to talk with a family member. Linda's parents. You don't see those assholes anymore. They have done wrong to you and Linda. Like what? I don't understand. I hope it goes a little deeper. It is a foggy morning. You are taking a walk in an isolated clean forest, which is close to the suburb you live. You can't see anything but fog beyond five meters. There is a single path and you are walking it. You know that the path leads to a lake. You've been there countless times. There is nobody else you can see here in this forest. But somehow, you feel that something awaits you at the end of the path. Oh, walk along the path. Okay, can I pick something? No. Ah, alright, so this definitely does remind me of something else I was just thinking of as I was reading it. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're like books that used to be in school for when I was in school, uh, where they would be like choice books. You can like say, uh, hey, you got three options here. You can climb a mountain, and swim in the lake, or do this, and you'd have to switch to a different page in order to see what would be the outcome of your choice. Uh, you reach a lake and you encounter a woman who looks uncannily familiar. Standing at the side of the lake, she's turning her back to you. You see that she has blonde hair and a black dress. So familiar. She slowly turns and faces you with a smile on her beautiful face. She is nobody but Linda. Completely alive. Did you miss me, darling? How is that possible? I missed you so much. I long to be with you two again. There is a way. She holds your hands. Buy a Ouija board. I will talk to you through that. You know what a Ouija, pronounced Ouija, or Ouija. Thanks for the pronunciation. It is the board with the letters and numbers on it, and you use it to talk with spirits. A strong wind starts blowing. In the blink of an eye, her flesh turns to ashes. The harsh wind carries the black ash away, leaving a grim skeleton standing with you. You find yourself holding the hands of a skeleton who looks into your very soul with carved eyes onto her skull. You wake up 
It was a dream, a repeating one. You keep having this dream every night and it started a few days ago. It's a Monday morning now and you are in your bedroom. It's winter, but still sunny. After getting off the bed, you take a look at yourself in the mirror and hang on the wall. You, you hang yourself on the wall just because you look at the mirror. You look worn out. Check on Mark. Your house is two stories. The... Sorry. I, I looked at stories. I was like, wait a minute. Is that how you spell stories? The bedrooms are at the upper one. You walk into Mark's bedroom, which is next to yours, trying not to make a sound. You slowly open the wooden door of the bedroom. Your son sleeps peacefully in his cradle. You would expect a one-year-old to make noises all the time, but Mark is not such a boy. He rarely cried. He has always been a happy boy. The bedroom's walls are painted in a calming tone of blue. A circle of toys are hanged upon the cradle. Cute figures of a lion, sun, red cat, moon are other parts of this installment. There's a big poster of a yellow baby bird on the wall. You change Mark's diapers like you always do in the mornings. After you complete changing the diapers, the doorbell rings. Hello! It's probably the caretaker, Isabella. She comes every morning at this hour. You go downstairs, you go downstairs and open the door. Good morning, sir, says Isabella. Well, let's try and give her a different voice. <clears throat> Good morning, sir, says Isabella. She's a woman in her twenties with curly black hair and brown eyes. She steps into your house. Your daily routine starts with making the breakfast, while Isabella takes care of Mark. You go to work after the breakfast, unless it's weekend. Isabella walks into the kitchen, opens the fridge, and picks up the formulated milk for babies without mothers. Could just say formula. Talk about the dream, or don't talk about the dream. Why would I consult with Isabella? I get it that I'm a lonely man, but that just leads to problems. Isabella climbs up the stairs to take care of Mark. You are hungry. You need to make breakfast. You like listening to music on the radio while making breakfast. Will you turn on the radio today? Sure, I mean, if it's part of my daily routine. Will I hear the music? You turn on the radio. The playing song is Sunny from Boney M. That's a good song. I don't really know it. Sunny yesterday... No, wait, hold on. Sunny, yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny, you smile on me and really ease the pain. The dark days are gone and the bright days are here. My sunny one shines so sincere. Sunny one so true, I love you. You like that song. Kind of reminds you of the happy times you had with Linda. I'm just having fun with the game. Don't mind me. You make yourself an omelet and a hot cup of coffee. Your days, your, that's a, your daily routine. Why am I back to reading so badly? After you finish the breakfast, it's time to leave the house. Will you buy a Ouija board? You can go to a toy store to buy it before going to work. Sure, because toy stores always have Ouija boards. Did you know that? I knew that. I mean, of course. What toy store doesn't have Ouija boards these days? I heard they're the hottest trend. Or you can refuse to buy it, thus refusing to contact with what you see in your dreams. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I'm going to go buy it. I'm going to go and see what goes on here. Despite it being a winter day, it's not cold outside. There's a toy store you know. This is where you buy Mark's toys. You remember seeing a Ouija board there. Does it have a, a picture of a lion, a red sun? Does it? It doesn't take a long it doesn't take long to reach the store. You enter the store and start searching for the board among all the colorful toys. You find a box that looks quite different from the other toys. It doesn't look cute. Not something you'd buy for a kid. It's a grim looking Ouija board. Yes, buy the board. You pick up the box of the Ouija board and move it to the cash point. The cashier is a brunette young woman. She gets surprised to see the box. Ah, you want to buy that? What will you use it for, if I may ask? I keep seeing my deceased wife in my dreams. Sure, let's... I don't think that's in your business, lady, but... Let's just go on with our business. She frowns. Okay, I had to warn you. It won't bring good. Don't use it by yourself, at least. And never ask when or how someone will die. Alright, got it. Got it in the vault. I, I remember that stuff. I remember, I'm, I'm like an elephant, I never forget. So you pay the board's price and you buy it. You put it in a plastic bag with the logo of the toy store and go to your office. As an accountant, you think that you have a dull job. Nothing interesting ha happens during the work. You have no friends to talk to. After the shift earn ends, you are ready to go home. Darkness has fallen. Knowing Isabella at home, you ring the bell when you arrive. Welcome, she says with a smile after opening the door. The shift ends when you come home. She got ready to head off. Mark is sleeping peacefully. He has started he has just started sleeping. Isabella says before leaving the house. You can ask her you can ask her to assist you in the science. Science. Seance. There we go, seance. Well she did say, but I'm gonna go ahead and break all the rules here. Let's just see. 
Isabella leaves. You are alone with Mark now, before starting the seance. You climb the stairs and check on Mark. He looks so happy and peaceful while sleeping. You close the door and descend the stairs. You will use the board in your living room. There is a table you can use there. You had heard that it's best to turn off the lights before talking to a Ouija board, so you can get a candle from the kitchen and light it. Then you turn off the lamps, so the only thing that lights the room is the candle. You pull the wooden board from its box and place it on the table. Then you get the planchette. The planchette, the wooden part which you will put your finger on. The summoned entity. Entity? entity? It's supposed to move the planchette with your fingers on it. All right, are you ready? I am most certainly ready. Let's do this. Linda. Linda. Keep your finger on the planchette. Oh, okay. H. O. E. R. E. Here. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Next page, because I want to see what else is here. What does moon mean? I just brought you here just to ask you, what does the moon mean? Should I move on with my life? Why did you leave us? Are you peaceful? Uh, sure. Are you peaceful? We'll stick to this to the scene here. Oh, oh. All right. Well then. Why are you restless? Why are you restless, my dear? My dear Linda. The moon. Never messed with the Ouija board, so I don't know what the moon means. What does the moon entail? When did we get married? What was your favorite color? When will we be together? Uh. When will I die? How will I die? Let's see here. How will I die? Was the question like, don't ask when will you die? S U I. C. I. D. E. Suicide. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Uh, how? How will I do it? Or when, I mean. Five years from now? Five years from now? Really? What if I just take my finger off of this planchette here? She's gonna not play. She's choose not to play it now. Okay, well you know what? We're gonna ask you a very important question, Linda. A very important question indeed. What do you want from me? No. What did? You, why did you return? What does the moon mean? What does the moon mean? You touched that moon. What does it mean? Is that the moon that you're talking about? That this is the question. C W, C W Kids. Is it C W Kids? I can't remember that channel. It's been a long time since I've seen stuff like that. C W C C X. You still have me confused, Linda. If that is your real name. What does Moon mean? Uh, why did you want? What did you want from me? No, 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 no. I'm not going to talk about the baby because that's just wrong. I don't want to know how a baby ends or dies or when. Red. Okay. Clever girl, are you reading my mind? You're a very clever girl. Should I move on? I'm not going to commit suicide. I think I'm just going to move on. No? Well, that's just your opinion there, Linda. I feel like you're a little... You're a little, uh... A little... A little jerk, because you're just... You're, you're dead. Alright? You just... You, you kind of give me a sense of, like, you're very territorial. I don't like that. Why did you leave us then? Why did you leave us if you don't want me to move on? Yeah, huh, uh, huh, uh, huh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 did? In? Did not? Did not? Did not. What? Okay. Well, fine then. Next page. Goodbye. Keep your finger on the. What? What? Oh, okay. 
and the planchette throws itself. It flings to the window of the living room, breaking it. You hear the radio in the kitchen started to play. Something turned it on. It plays a sinister voice at last, laughter of a clown. It doesn't stop when you feel it mocking you. I think I'm just gonna go, uh, uh, cheering uh, off the radio. Yeah, you walk to the kitchen and turn off the radio. Now you hear Mark crying in his room. That's certainly not good. You frantically try to open the door of Mark's room, but it's locked. The door is not broken yet, but you hear the muffled scream of Mark. Oh, oh, fuck. You rush to Mark's cradle. His pillow covers his face. It's apparent that he was choked. Mark shows no sign of life. He's dead. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. That. You cry in despair. You were warned not to use the Ouija board. Now you are alone with your remorse. Soon, you call 911. Nobody believes that Mark was killed by a supernatural entity. All the proof shows that Mark was killed by his father, so you will be arrested. Time flies fast and nothing gets better. You get sentenced for your killing your son. You'll spend the rest of your life in a cell. And that's how your psychological problems start. You find yourself thinking about morbid matters, like the rotten corpse of Linda and Mark, or what Mark has seen while it choked him to death, or how the Guardians would react if they would find you if you have hung yourself. Sometimes you start laughing hysterically, but there is nothing funny to laugh at. Sometimes you throw wild tantrums, screaming with anger between the four walls of your cell. Are you going mad? Or is it taking you over? There is no difference, honestly. During the fifth year of your imprisonment, you decide to end the dire suffering, and you succeed. The end. This story has three endings. Oh. Hmm. I can imagine how the endings would be. I mean, like, if I was to probably, say, have uh, the, <clears throat> the nanny with me, then she probably would have been able to save the baby. And maybe I would die. And the other ending would probably be if I didn't buy the Ouija board at all. Don't buy it. So you say goodbye to Isabella and go to work without buying the Ouija board. Nothing interesting happens for the rest of the day. Your usual depressing, boring life continues. You no longer see Linda in your dreams. Did she give up on you? Or what trespass? Oh, yeah. Or what trespassed your dreams was something but your lovely wife's soul? You'll never know. Maybe it's for the best. The end. All right. So then, that's it. Then, yeah. So, if you don't buy it, you you pretty much just spend the rest of your life alive with your son, which is good. And you don't really suffer any more dreams. So it was probably just a bad spirit then. I mean, which usually anytime that movies do these Ouija board things, it's always something bad. I mean, has anybody seen that one movie? I forget. It was, um, was it just called Ouija? With the girl playing with the Ouija board. That was a good one. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see all the other stories, you can either download the link in the description below, or you can also come here and recommend what other story you want me to play. Between the doll, the funeral, the crystal skull, one and two, and evil beneath the ground. Oh, and also the madness infinite loop. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. See you later.